In the Bible, there's a very important promise when we obey the words of the Almighty. When He spoke to Israel, He said, If you obey me, you will be the head and not the tail. You will lend and not borrow. You will be prosperous. Your cattle will be prosperous. Your people, there will be peace. Your enemies will flee before you. But also it says, if you forsake my commandments, you will be the tail and you will borrow and you will have famine and your enemies will chase you and they will race after you. So this is an amazing biblical parallel that can teach modern America a very powerful lesson. Around the beginning of the year 2000, there was a big tornado of secularism going across America. Even on the very high levels of government, they were um, redefining the meaning of marriage, the meaning of what is a man, the meaning of what is a woman, changing ancient biblical values for sodomy, for abominable things, for sin. America was blessed when it was a nation of missionaries, when it was a nation of preachers sending Bibles all over the world, but also it became a nation that was exporting secularism. You know, Hollywood became a pillar of pornography, a pillar of deception, and sodomy, uh, fornication, uh, a pillar of witchcraft, and a lot of evil things. So since America went this path, it lost the blessings, and it began to taste the judgment. So there was a limited judgment on New York during the time of 9-11. Wall Street got hit, but the nation, instead of repenting, they sold the American people a new war, promising them to have freedom, dignity, and to restore the economy. Back then, the debt of the country was a little below $8 trillion. Right now, is $32 trillion. So as the years went by, the nation, instead of repenting, it was going more downhill, more into sin, more into sodomy, more into changing biblical values, more into defying the laws of the Almighty. And America began to sink deeper and deeper and deeper in debt. Judgments came, earthquakes, storms, new wars, terrorism, but America didn't repent. So where is America right now? America blew over seven trillion dollars that is pretty much the future of most of the young americans into a war in afghanistan promising to destroy the taliban and bring freedom and prosperity and the taliban didn't get destroyed and the taliban is stronger than ever before with 85 billion dollars of the most sophisticated military equipment thanks to biden's courtesy but the reality is that Americans are not free, but are enslaved more than ever before by a broken economy and by millions of new regulations that didn't exist before. Twenty-some years later, the American economy is destroyed. There is no future. Most Americans live from paycheck to paycheck. America is being floated and invaded by illegals. Most of the industries have been decimated. America is battling one of the worst inflations in history. America is sinking deeper and deeper and the enemies of America rising higher and higher. It's time for America to repent because if America doesn't repent, it will go the same path of ancient Israel from absolute peace and prosperity to decay, oppression and tyranny. So pray, be sobered and wake up because we are truly in the end of days. Thank you.